Why did I just get a text reminder for a therapy appointment for son? I told you that I do not consent to son being entered into therapy. I'm calling them right not to cancel this appointment. I do not agree and I do not like this office. They clearly don't know what they're doing if they schedule appointments without a mother's consent. I informed you that I scheduled an appointment for next week since they had an opening. They were supposed to cancel it until you had the time to speak to them about play therapy. Oh, they don't want son as a patient anymore, trust me. I just had a very lengthy conversation with them about how their practices are immoral and probably illegal. I let them know I had primary custody and they were ordered to erase all of son's information from their system. Your attempt to brainwash our child by taking him to an unapproved therapist crosses so many lines. Son's appointment for his hard cast is today. Do not forget to have him there. My parents will be taking him from there for the rest of my parenting time. We will be there, of course. I would love to keep him until you feel better though, instead of staying with your parents. I have been overly generous to you with all of this extra time with Sun, and you have turned around and tried to manipulate his mind without my knowledge. It is my parenting time and I choose for him to be in the care of my parents. Okay, Valerie, I will meet your parents there. Hopefully they will put a smaller cast on this time because he has been complaining that the current one is too bulky. I will be there too. I'll have my mask on and keep my distance, but I will be there now. I don't trust you will release him to my parents. You have only worked to betray my trust, not gain it while I needed you. It is very sad. You've had time to think about therapy. He needs to start immediately. His behaviors are getting more extreme and cannot handle any type of redirection without completely shutting down or lashing out. He is hitting himself and others, scratching and biting himself and pulling hair out. He should have started last week at the appointment I was lucky to even get him. And now we are going to have to find another therapist that can fit him in. I am still debating on therapy and if I do agree to this I want it to be a Christian-based office. I don't feel that it is a dire need yet though. He isn't old enough yet. I am open to us researching coping skills and positive reinforcement to try without involving a therapist though. That isn't enough. He's hurting himself. He needs professional support, not a Google search. You don't realize that December was a rough month for him, with him breaking his arm and then being away from me for so long while I had COVID. He will not be in secular therapy, and if we do ever move forward with therapy, we will sit and discuss who he goes to before I make my final decision. If you wouldn't have gone behind my back to betray my trust, I would be more open to your ideas. He is just a little boy. He doesn't need professional help. He just needs to know his parents love him and are here for him. He doesn't need his head filled with nonsense ideas from secular therapy. Something needs to happen. If we need to let a judge decide, we will. But he is hurting himself and others. He even punched Mia's dog in the face during his last visit when he was corrected for something. Minor, that isn't okay. It's just because he missed me. I am sure he was missing you, but his behavior is not a normal response to that. It's excessive and he needs to start therapy now before it gets worse. I'm not trying to excuse his behavior but he probably doesn't know how else to show his frustration right now. He also has limited use of his arm, which only makes it worse. And hurt himself how, because I have never seen him act like that. He has an occasional tantrum and that's all. How is he hurting himself? Is he even safe in your care? I've explained how. He needs to start therapy. Maybe it's because he needs to understand that there is only one mom and one dad and that no one can replace me. It's great that Mia loves him, but clearly this behavior is because she needs to step back and stop trying to play house with him. He has never been violent here or with any animal. 
We have known that it was very possible he would have behavioral problems since we adopted Sun. If we can see that they are beginning to manifest, it is our job to help him in any way we can. Try putting him to bed at 7.30. He may just be overtired when he is with you. You chose this new life for all of us, and you can't blame Sun for being upset about it when in reality his dad decided to leave him and start a new family. The truth is finally hitting him. He needs hugs and kisses and understanding, not to be analyzed and diagnosed by professionals. He probably feels abandoned when he is with you and just needs to know he is loved. You can't blame him for having anger towards you. I will always validate Sun in his feelings, even if they are anger towards you and Mia. I will never ask him to hide his truth. If you are telling Sun he should have anger towards me, that is not okay. It's hurting him clearly. I think I know more about this than you. I am the one who has a minor is psychology. All he needs is his mama and to know that he is loved. You are trying to make it out to be like he is autistic. He does not have autism and it has been ruled out previously. He has never had behaviors like this before. And if he is doing things like this now, why have I not been told before? You have been told. You have called me multiple times about his behavior in your care. And we have both been contacted by the school about it. Look at this picture I found of son and your dad when we first adopted him. Isn't it precious? I thought you'd like to have it. Changing the subject does not make it any less true. In the car today, son asked me if his daddy still loved him. He said you didn't because you don't call him every day like you used to. I tried to explain something to him, but I don't even know how to explain that to him. He also does not want to go back to your house for weekends. He wants to just stay with me and see you when you can spend alone time with him. He is struggling. I have explained to you that I do not call every day anymore because you use that time to fight with me in front of son. He doesn't need to be exposed to that every day. That isn't true. I never interfere with your calls. And you may want to reach out to your son to assure him that you still love him. I will call him tonight. Please just hand him the phone and let me speak to him. Of course, but I will also listen to make sure you are not lying to him. I worry you are trying to turn him against me and that's why he is acting out. Hey bud, mom talked to me earlier and said that you think I don't love you. That's crazy. I love you more than anything and you don't ever need to doubt that, okay? Okay, but you don't call me every day and mom said that you would call if you did. I will try to call more often if that's why you feel that way. But even on days I'm not able to call, just know I still love you and think about you all day, okay? Okay, I will. And I'll tell mom that you still love me even when you can't call. Good, wait a minute. Who was that you just walked by in the living room? Is that mom's old friend Brian? Yeah, mom's other friend moved out the other day and didn't even say bye. But mom said Brian needed a place to stay so he's living with us now. Can you put your mom on the phone? Asterisk goes to hand Valerie the phone. She takes it and hangs up immediately. Asterisk, please do not tell me that I just saw Brian in your house around sun. Who I have in my house is none of your business or concern. He's been in jail for over a year now and you take him back as soon as he gets out. What happened to you having a protection order against him for the domestic violence? You're allowing that back around Sun. Sun loves him. Everyone makes mistakes. So what happens when he ends up Abu Dalaring you again? Or when he decides to move on to Sun when he is annoyed with dealing with a child? He would never do that. He loves son like his own. My life is none of your concern. Son is safe with me. I will be going to court over this. I won't let son sit there with a known Abu Dollar and just wait for something to happen. Okay, the order was for me, not son. So you have no standing anyways. You owe me this amount for son's medical bills for his arm. 
He is supposed to be covered on your insurance. Why is he not covered? He is still on Medicaid from when I lost my job last year. But the office apparently does not accept the exact plan he is on. They told me that they did. But now they're saying I owe thousands of dollars. Send me your half so I can pay the bill. If he has been on Medicaid this entire time, why is it not on file with any of his normal doctors? I've been paying a copay each visit and extra for medications when they should be covered. I don't know. That isn't my concern. When will you be able to pay the amount you owe? I will need to contact the doctor first to see why they no longer accept his insurance and get a copy of the bill. Never mind, it shouldn't be an issue for you to pay for your child, but it always is.